you know, gone are the days when we can garden in a traditional way. We need to think of the future, to learn about plants that grow in these drier climes. So we're creating a new landscape at Wakehurst inspired by the Silk Road. And where better to start finding inspiration than here in the Caucasus in Armenia. The aim of uh, this study tour is to bring back a whole load of medical knowledge about the different plant communities. Here is Populus ephratica. We're here this week with our overseas partners, uh, Anoush and Sonna, uh, who we've been working with uh, through the Millennium Seed Bank partnerships uh, over the past 10 years or so. My name's Ian Parkinson. I'm Head of Landscape and Horticulture at Wakehurst Kew's Wild Botanic Garden. There are many familiar plants and many plants I don't recognise. Uh, Oxide daisy, of course. A few days ago I was at Wakehurst enjoying looking at this plant and uh, here I am in Armenia enjoying it again. I think this is rough hawk bit, uh, another plant that we find in the UK. And all around me is yellow rattle. Uh, so there are familiar plants that we know will grow well at Wakehurst and that gives us confidence that this new landscape that we're going to be creating will not only survive, but really thrive. When I sit in a meadow in the UK, I just don't experience the sound that I'm experiencing now. That makes me think about what we've lost. It's just there's such a variety of plants, different shapes, colours, textures, smells. It's just buzzing with life. And the setting is absolutely amazing. Mountains all around us. Uh, it's one of the most exquisite landscapes I've seen. My name's Alice. I'm a botanical horticulturalist at Wakehurst. Having spent the last year and a half sort of studying the floor of the Caucasus, it's it's incredible to be here and experiencing them in real life and to have the, the expertise of, of the wonderful Q partners and helping us gain a, a greater knowledge than I could ever have imagined. I am Anush Narsesyan. I am head of Natural Heritage AGO and I am also leading researcher at the Institute of Botany. This is Sona, my PhD student. Uh, so I try to pass her what I know. How to describe Sona whenever we pick out individual plant, she has a story behind it. The name in Armenian they called Arev Kurik, uh, which means the sister of sun. Sonan M. Galestian, aspirant, Tartajani and Vambusabansian Institutum. 
տարբեր ծրագրեր կան, բացի ֆիքսված հա աշխատանքից, որը անհրաժեշտ է Հայաստանի ֆլորայի ուսումնասիրության համար, ներից մի քանիսը նաև թակավորական բուսաբանական այգիների հետ են, Քյու Գարդենի հետ, որինակ պրոյեկտներից մեկը կոչվում էր Fruit and Nuts, որի շրջանակներում աշխատում էինք համ համայնքի հետ, որպիսի մարդիկ Հայաստանում շատ են սիրում օգտագործելու բույսերը։ Actually, we started collaboration with Q in 2011. Q helped us very much to establish our Seed Bank of Armenian Flora in our institute. We uh, keep part of these seeds in our institute in Seed Bank and duplicate it also to Millennium Seed Bank. Uneța card training Millennium Seed Bankum, azi am iacne de sermeri bankum, tăcăvora cam pusă bana cam ai gineri het miasin, trainingi himna cam ne patacă, hands de aer, așa că trainingi jamenac în zain savoret num, încă pe scist havacne de da cam atsnel ha, buiseri. Movie star. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, we look at a small scale in the meadow. Mm -hmm. This meadow that's up here is yeah. this subalpine. Um, mostly like step, uh, meadow step. So uh, today's uh, weather is fine. If it will be still like this. I plan to take you to closer to the forest and I hope we will see there some fruit trees. It's like uh, wild pears. Anusha, it's been absolutely fantastic so far and uh, I know we've got a few more days to go, but uh, I've certainly learned so really? much. And, um, <laughs> so from all of us, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to, to hear it. So thank you very much for your words. <laughs> We will camp here, we will have barbecue. Yeah. I hope you will like Armenian style of making barbecue. The Silk Road step landscape at Wakehurst will become a landscape full of stories, full of stories of the lives and livelihoods of the people that inhabit this really rich and diverse landscape here in Armenia. Uh, she say that this is a wild uh, pure. Very sweet. You know, and they, you think of uh, the test is because they cultivate it at home. The name is like uh, uh, Kima Place, uh, but the main idea of business to uh, sell homemade uh, things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, something special. Oh, uh, this is Chungan, yeah, this. Chungan. This is a mix. Yeah, this is a mix. What? This is a meadow in a bag. Well, it's like a medicine. So many plants. This is lovely. Oh, wow. Oh, Merci. This is a very beautiful grass called Reza Media. Um, yeah. It's structural quality, it's beautiful the way it moves in the wind. And it might be very familiar to a lot of people because it's in our UK grasslands. So there are familiar plants that we know will grow well at Wakers and that gives us confidence that this new landscape that we're going to be creating will not only survive but really thrive.
most important uh, and dangerous threat it comes from um, human being. I hope that um, uh, we will understand that uh, nature is real treasure. On the one hand, I feel very blessed and happy to be sat in such a beautiful landscape. Uh, but it will really make me look at our own landscapes back in the UK with uh, a renewed sense of urgency about the need to conserve and protect what remains, but, but also to improve the countryside, uh, continue to make more meadows and continue to conserve uh, our native flora and fauna.